Let God fight your battle for you. What God has for you is for you. Yeah, what is ours is ours. The territory belongs to you. So don't let the enemy put fear in your heart and make you think that it's not. Let me see, because David, let me see, like David, David in the Bible, David defeated the enemy. He did it. He fought him, but God worked through him. It was the strength of God. Um, right here, 1 Chronicles 14.1. Yes, David went into battle with God's overwhelming strength against the enemy, y'all. So what's for you is for you. Don't let the enemy punk you and make you think that it's not. Even if it don't look like you can win, you believe that God can do it and he will do it through you. In Jesus' name, he will. So like right here, even Paul, Paul in the Bible. Yeah, Romans 8, 31. If God is for you, if God is for us, who can ever be against us? Yeah, if God is for us, who can ever be against us? No one, y'all, no one can. Yeah, so we don't belong to the enemy. We don't belong to the devil. We don't belong to that giant. Whatever it is that you're worried about, whatever it is that you're fearing about, whatever it is that's coming against you, making you think that you can't do. We don't belong to the enemy. We belong to God. And God will fight for us, y'all, through us. He said, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Yeah, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. For those who believe, you know, for those who believe. So you got to believe. Yeah, right here, y'all. <clears throat> you know, in biblical times, a person, you have to claim your territory, claim your inheritance, claim what's yours, claim your property. So, you know, in the biblical times, a person that take off their shoe and they'll throw it down and they'll claim it. That's how they claimed it. They took that shoe off, threw it down, and that was my property. Like in Ruth, let me see, Ruth, Ruth 4, 7. You know, like Ruth in four, Ruth 4, 7. That man, he threw his shoe down. He put his shoe down claiming that was Ruth because I think it was his cousin. He didn't, um, he had to go, Boaz had to go take it, take her first to see if his cousin wanted to marry her. You know, because he was older, I think. And um, so the cousin, he didn't want to marry her, Ruth. So Boaz wanted her. So Boaz took his shoe off and claimed her. So you gotta take your shoe off, y'all. Take your shoe off and claim whatever is yours. And you gotta pray, pray, y'all. So that was Ruth, y'all, 4-7, if you wanna go read about Ruth. And that's the, I read it out, the AVS version. Yeah, so you gotta take ownership, y'all. Take your shoe off. Take your shoe off and claim it, it's yours. In Jesus' name, praying fast, y'all. Believe, believe it. Don't let nothing stop you and make you think, make you um, feel like it's not, because it is. Whatever you believe in your heart, so is she, you know? You believe it, you receive it. Decree it and declare it in Jesus' name that it's yours. So the enemy will try to punk you, but don't let him because it's yours, says the Lord. It is yours, says the Lord. Blessings to all.